Pets, especially dogs, get very attached to their owners. They see their owner as protection and support, a true friend. They are ready to defend their master and also run to them for protection. Sometimes animals will surprise us with their level of devotion. This story is about a man named Nick Wake. He lived in a house on the outskirts of a forest with a shepherd dog named Terry. Nick loved Terry very much, and they spent a lot of time together, especially wandering through the forest, enjoying nature and each other's company. Terry was a very obedient and well-mannered dog. She understood every command Nick gave her and was always loyal to him. For this reason, Nick felt comfortable letting her off the leash when they were on their walks. She never wandered far and would always come back quickly when he called. One day, Nick and Terry went out for one of their walks through the forest early in the morning. It was a beautiful sunny day, and Nick brought some food for them so they could spend the entire day out in nature, as usual. Once they were in the forest, Nick let Terry off her leash. On this day, everything went as usual. Terry happily ran around Nick and obediently retrieved the stick he occasionally threw. However, when Nick stopped to admire some trees, he suddenly realized that his dog was no longer around. He called for her, confident that as soon as she heard his voice, she'd immediately return as always. But she didn't respond. Nick began to worry because this had never happened before. He began to run through the woods, calling for his dog as loud as he could, but to no avail. Nick realized that something must have happened to the dog because she would never deliberately ignore his calls. He wandered through the forest, calling her name as tears ran down his cheeks. Out of desperation, he decided to go to the village to ask local residents for help. He was worried his dog had been captured in a trap left by poachers or caught by a wild animal. As Nick was leaving the forest, there was a rustling in the nearby bushes. He jumped in surprise and fear. If it had been Terry, she would surely have emitted a joyful bark, so this must be some sort of wild animal hiding in the bushes. Nick got a hold of himself and gently peered into the bushes. How happy he was to discover that it was indeed his dog Terry, but there appeared to be something wrong with her as she didn't make a sound. After a moment, Nick realized that there was something strange in her mouth. As Terry came closer, Nick could see that it was a tiny puppy in her mouth. She brought the foundling to her master and laid it gently at his feet. He took the little puppy in his arms to get a closer look. It was a brand new, little black puppy, his eyes weren't even open yet. Terry clearly expected her owner to help in some way. Nick couldn't let her down, so he brought the little puppy home. He didn't know what to do with him, but decided to feed him until he could eat on his own. The next two weeks were a real test for Nick. The puppy had to be fed every two hours with a special bottle. He constantly wanted to eat whenever he wasn't sleeping. Terry never left her new friend, she kept him warm by sleeping right next to him. Nick couldn't figure out what kind of breed this dog was, he thought maybe it was a wolf, but he couldn't be sure. The puppy quickly grew and was able to eat and move around the house on his own. He got into everything and constantly made messes. Terry loved to play with him as Nick cheerfully watched, but during one of their games, Nick was amazed to see the small black puppy climb to the very top of the closet all on his own. What kind of dog can climb so easily? It made Nick a little uncomfortable not knowing what kind of animal he had brought into his home. The next day, Nick brought him to the veterinary clinic so that an experienced doctor could determine what species this strange animal belonged to. The veterinarian looked at the animal for a long time and then determined him to be a black sable baby. He advised Nick to get rid of him as soon as possible because these animals are very curious and playful and, as a result, can cause a lot of damage. When Nick brought the sable back home, he put him on the floor, and Terry licked him for a very long time. It was evident how much the dog missed him while he was away, so Nick thought for a long time about what to do. 
whether he should follow the advice of the vet and release him back into the forest, but seeing how attached Terry had become, he decided to keep him. Then one day when he came home from work, Nick discovered a terrible mess. The sable managed to open the closet door and dump all of the clothes on the floor, which he and Terry then rolled around on. This made Nick so angry that he decided to take the sable into the forest and leave him there. He expected the sable to immediately rush into the wild, but he was wrong. Instead, he just stood next to Nick and Terry and waited. At that moment, Nick realized that the animal was no longer wild and he was now responsible for a new pet. He also understood that he simply could not separate these two new friends. When they returned home, Nick began to figure out ways to equip his home to be suitable for a sable to live. He locked up all the cupboards and closets and provided empty shelves for the sable to climb freely. In short, it was now not only Nick and Terry's home but also the little black sables. Love is perhaps the most wonderful feeling in this world. And it's not just human beings, even two stray dogs will stage a divine love. Someone once found a golden retriever couple in the sewer. Around the sewer, except for the barren weeds, there is only a sewage pool. There is no food or water source that can feed the dogs. When they really want to drink water, they can only drink the water in the sewage pool. And it seems that they still have injuries on their bodies, maybe they haven't eaten well for too long, their bodies look very thin, and their mental state is also a little listless. After an ant learned about it, she prepared fish soup for them, and then soak dog food in it, and add various nutritional supplements to supplement the body's nutrition, and because I am afraid that they will not be full, I will bring a little more every time, but the dog is very wary and does not eat the food in the bowl. He only dared to eat the food that fell on the ground. Day after day, the dog's health improved a lot and he became more energetic. After eating and drinking enough, the couple began to play and fight happily. They look carefree, but they are eager to get out of here. The tall fence blocked their way out. The dogs tried many times but failed, and the walls by the road were full of scratches. A little brother really wanted to rescue them, but the dogs always ran away when they saw people because they were afraid. Moreover, the sewer can lead to other places, so the rescue will be very difficult. Then, the little brother asked someone to surround the sewer exit with a fence, and hung a fence above the sewer mouth, controlled it with a remote control, and waited for the dog couple to come out. Pressed the remote control to block the hole directly, so that they can be caught. Then, the little brother put the food outside to lure the dogs, and then pretended to leave and hid in it. After smelling the fragrance, the male dog ran out without hesitation. At this time, the female dog also came to the entrance of the cave and poked her head out, but did not follow. The foot that came out of the hole immediately retracted. She was very clever. After realizing that it was a trap, she immediately began to bark uncomfortably, telling her husband outside to go back quickly, and the male dog also became nervous when he heard it. In desperation, the little brother sprayed water on the road well cover with a sprinkler and made noise, and then drove it out. The little brother quickly pressed the remote control, and the golden retriever couple hid everywhere, trying to get back into the sewer. But the entrance of the cave has been blocked, surrounded by surroundings, and there is nowhere to hide. She was quickly caught in the cage, and what was even more surprising was that when the male dog saw her being caught in the cage, he got in on his own initiative. Husband and wife love each other deeply. Soon, the golden retriever couple was sent to the pet hospital. The veterinarian gave the dog couple a comprehensive examination. Judging by their teeth, they were only two years old. The veterinarian said that they had several other diseases besides skin diseases. Moreover, a lot of dirty things got into the eyes of the male dog, but the veterinarian quickly helped to take them out, and after a period of treatment and recuperation, the two dogs recovered completely. However, the dogs seemed to have a lot of fear of humans, so the man decided to train them to eliminate their fear of humans. 
After the dog trainer heard the story of the dog couple, he said that the dog couple is so loving and clings to each other at all times, so the male dog saw the bitch enter the cage, and it followed. At the training center, the two dogs are doing very well. Now they are no longer afraid of humans, but have become very close. The couple often play with men, and they are always running around the training center happily, and they don't seem to be sick at all. The man also found a new owner for the dog couple, who was a kind young lady. In order to prevent emergencies, the dog trainer also followed the little brother to send the dogs to their new home, and the new owner's family was very happy to see the dogs. They especially liked these two dogs and sympathize with what happened to these two dogs. Especially the three children, they love holding the dog even more. The owner loves dogs very much. He puts the dogs in the children's room, and even in cold weather, he also provides them with electric blankets. The new owner said that they are kept indoors in winter and outside in summer. This home gives the dogs a lot of love, new beds, new quilts, new clothes, new pots, new bowls, and a new family. They have endless dog food and snacks, as well as endless clean water. So many owners who love them. And the dog couple who started a new life have become more optimistic and lively. They often play with children. I hope this dog couple can live happily ever after in their new family. I also hope that everyone can pay more attention to stray dogs like the little brother in the video, and provide them with some help as much as possible.